Hey everybody, my name is Spencer Stanley. I'm a filmmaker here in Canada. I run a video production company called Vanguard Creative. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about my latest purchase, the Godox VL, not SL, VL150. So I've actually been using the Godox VL150 for about a month now. I was really astonished by the amount of value that you get for this light, for the money. It's an outstanding light considering the fact that it's priced around $500 Canadian right now. I will put the US and Canadian prices as long as a link to purchase this down below. It was currently on sale on, on Boxing Day. Boxing Day? There's been so many holidays and so. I was about to buy one on Amazon and then I was just like, I'll check locally and see if I can pick one up, support the local economy a bit. It was on sale there. So I was like, of course, I'm actually kind of mad that I didn't buy two because currently I'm using the Godox SL60 if I mix up the two, I'm talking about this mostly. I might refer to this a little bit. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the pros and some of the cons with this light, although there are really not that many, and compare it to a couple different lights. Now, I think this light's really good for anybody that's looking for an affordable professional option. If you're looking to get into YouTube, but or wanna boost your quality a little bit in your videos, this is also a great option. It's just a little expensive for a lot of entry level YouTubers, but if you're someone like ready to step it up a little bit, this is an amazing option. Now I'm gonna be using this light as a key light for a lot of my video production work and I'm also gonna keep it here in the studio on YouTube. I'd be using it right now if it weren't for the fact that I'm reviewing it. Let's start off with some of the pros of this light. Now the biggest pro is this case. The case is outstandingly built. It feels amazing. It's the cove. It looks like it's built to last. And the first thing that I, I noticed when I saw this light in person is how nice the case was. It, it's weirdly one of the, the reasons that I bought it because I really appreciate having a case for a light because I never have. The Godox SL60W does not come with a case. I'm gonna be talking about the new Aperture Arm and Lights. They also don't come with a case. It's almost like mid-tier, it's not really budget because this is, in my opinion, just as good, if not better than some of the Aperture products, such as the Aperture 120D Mark II. But let's kick it off by looking at the case and everything that comes in it. So the case opens up like this in a clamshell style. Inside the case, so this is the light itself. I'm gonna put this to the side for a second. Um, we're gonna talk about this a bit later because I just wanna focus on how amazing this case really is. You get a beauty dish and a little ring to protect the beauty dish from your light. And you have like a really big space. I was really trying to see if I could fit both lights in here, but I don't think I'll be able to. So if you look in the side pouch here, you're gonna get one of your connectors. Now, one of the things with these lights that I've noticed is that the cables are really long. I saw a video where somebody was saying this is a con. I don't see this as a con at all. This allows you to lift the light really high and just have those cables dangle, which I'll show in a minute. So it comes with the cables and the control box right here. It also comes with the standard uh, Godox remote that you'll find with the SL60W. I'm almost positive it's the exact same remote. And you can use this light with their app. It's a great package. This is by far my favorite part. One of my favorite parts of the light. It's not my favorite part. The light's, the light's my favorite part. So the first thing you'll notice when unboxing the light is the quality of everything is really good. It's, it's a lot better than some of Godox's earlier products. Uh, they put a lot more effort and time into designing this. And I'm very, I'm very happy with the quality, especially of the light. So the light itself has a metal casing with this adjustable yoke. It's got two, I don't remember what they're called, two clamps with a rubber grommet in the middle so that it's super secure. You could put a heavy modifier on top of this and it's gonna hold. But the light itself is pretty basic. There's no control functions on there because you have the control box, which I'm gonna go over in a second. But what you'll just notice with the light in general is that it's not very big. It's quite heavy though. It's, it's fully metal built, but all the components on it are really good. Like you have the Bowens mount quick release pull there, and it just feels really good. It feels really smooth. I've heard it being compared to better than some of the Aperture products. So that's, that's amazing. This design, this kind of like Y yoke design, I think is so much better than the clamps and some of the Aperture, the new Armin products, which is made by Aperture, they have the same clamp as the SL60W or similar. And I feel like that design is just not gonna hold a uh, modifier on your bones mount as well, especially when you have a big softbox as I like to use. But the only real thing to pay attention to here is you have a pin connector and that's about it. The design is, there's honestly not a lot to talk about here just because it is designed so well. The one thing that I'll notice is if you look inside, you could see this fan with a major heat sink in there. 
One of the best qualities about this light is actually how quiet it is in compared to some of the aperture lights and uh, the older Godox products. The older Godox products are just terrible when it comes to their fans. My fan doesn't work on this SL60W, so it overheats all the time. So I feel like the, the cheapest part of the whole light is actually the control box. That being said, it's still met. That being said, it's still metal and it's still actually built very well. There's just some plastic products and the brightness adjuster feels a little cheap compared to some of the Aperture products. But other than that, it's built very well. You have your antennas here for, I'm assuming the remote. I don't know what else this would be for. And then you have a little holder to clip onto your C-stand. Now, the nice thing about this light is it's V-mount battery compatible, but this is awesome. This means if you set this up with a C-stand that has wheels on it, you could pretty much wheel this thing around anywhere and you don't have to keep plugging it in and unplugging it. A lot of other products that are a bit more affordable don't have this option. One of the other things to note with this light is that the wiring and connectors work extremely well. Uh, they're, they're built very well, so I'm not really too worried about the longevity of them, and they go in like butter. Now, when I first saw this, I was really confused at what it was. I saw that it was a V-mount Velcro thing. So basically what this little Velcro V-mount attachment does is allow you to clip on the AC power adapter to the back of the control unit, like so so that then you don't have this adapter just dangling everywhere and you can hang it on your C-stand. So the thing that I really like about this control unit is it allows you to change the brightness, the power, all of that while this is low on your C-stand and you could just keep your light really high if it needs to be. Like right now my softbox is touching the roof of this room because I want it really high to come cast over me and this desk. That's sturdy. So that allows you to do that. I know the new Armin products do not because they have the control unit on the back of the light itself. This is just really nice for that convenience that you might not think of. The one thing that I didn't understand is why this was plastic. Really nice to have, obviously, to attach to the C-stand, but it could have been like maybe something else, but it actually works pretty good. I just don't know what the longevity of that will be. So what I really love about this light overall is just the value for the quality of light that you actually get. I, I just feel like there's no light that's really better for the money than this, especially because the fans are so quiet. So those are the main things that I was looking for in buying a light. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna to subscribe to the channel, I'm going to be putting out a lot more content like this now. The goal is one YouTube video every Monday. I actually just set up this whole space to do so. I know it's really echoey. The audio is gonna be trash, even though I have a really good mic set up. I need to either carpet this or soundproof it. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you in the next one. Just wanna be a mini me. All these neck just wanna be a mini me. Friend me, friend me, enemy. All these neck.